Hi everybody, this is Kathleen from Artistry and I'm going to read a story called Frederick by Leo Leone and then afterwards we're, I'm going to show you how to do a collage art project based on, loosely based on the illustrations of the story. This story is for uh, meant for younger children but I think it has a message for everybody and the project also is fun for everybody. Frederick by Leo Leone. All along the meadow where the cows grazed and the horses ran, there was an old stone wall. In that wall, not far from the barn and the granary, a chatty family of field mice had their home. But the farmers had moved away, the barn was abandoned, and the granary stood empty. And since winter was not far off, the little mice began to gather corn and nuts and wheat and straw. They all worked day and night, all except Frederick. Frederick, why don't you work, they asked. I do work, said Frederick. I gather sun rays for the cold, dark winter days. And when they saw Frederick sitting there staring at the meadow, they said, and now, Frederick? I gather colors, answered Frederick simply, for winter is gray. And once Frederick seemed half asleep. Are you dreaming, Frederick? They asked reproachfully. But Frederick said, oh no, I am gathering words, for the winter days are long and many, and we'll run out of things to say. The winter days came. And when the first snow fell, the five little field mice took to their hideout in the stones. In the beginning, there was lots to eat, and the mice told stories of foolish foxes and silly cats. They were a happy family. But little by little, they had nibbled up most of the nuts and berries. The straw was gone, and the corn was only a memory. It was cold in the wall, and no one felt like chatting. Then they remembered what Frederick had said about sun rays and colors and words. What about your supplies, Frederick, they asked. Close your eyes, said Frederick, as he climbed on a big stone. Now I send you the rays of the sun. Do you feel how their golden glow and as Frederick spoke of the sun, the four little mice began to feel warmer. Was it Frederick's voice? Was it magic? And how about the colors, Frederick, they asked anxiously. Close your eyes again, Frederick said. And when he told them of the blue periwinkles and the red poppies and the yellow weed and the green leaves of the berry bush, they saw the colors as clearly as if they had been painted in their minds. And the words, Frederick. Frederick cleared his throat, wait a moment, waited a moment, and then said, as if from a stage, he said, who scatters snowflakes? Who melts the ice? Who spoils the winter? Who makes it nice? Who grows the color, the four leaf clovers in June? Who dims the daylight? Who lights the moon? Four little field mice who live in the sky, four little field mice like you and I, one is the spring mouse who turns on the showers. Then comes the summer who paints in the flowers. The fall mouse is next with walnuts and wheat and winter is last with little cold feet. Aren't we lucky the seasons are four? Think of a year with one less or one more. When Frederick had finished, they all applauded. But Frederick, they said, you are a poet. Frederick blushed, took a bow and said shyly, I know it. The end. So we're going to make a collage of a field mouse scene that's similar to the illustrations in the book. Uh, they're super fun, they're easy to make, and I found these pretty inspiring. What's neat about this project is that even though we're following guidelines, everybody's picture or artwork is going to be different. Okay, so here's the materials you need. I found a 
stiff piece of cardboard. I could do it on either side. You could also just use a white piece of paper. You just need your surface. Then I went around the house collecting things. I found uh, some oatmeal. I took it out of the package and put it in the bowl. I have some pencil shavings straight out of the pencil sharpener. This was an idea by um, Charlotte Mangelo, who's a nine-year-old girl from New York. I want to give her credit. I have some corrugated cardboard for the design and the texture of it. I have some pine cones I found in the woods. I have some acorn tops also found in the driveway. I do have some felt paper that uh, is not necessary, but I'm using it. I have gray construction paper. I have a couple of piles of construction paper here that are all kind of earth tones. Again, you don't need it. I also found a nice earth tone bag and shopping bags are perfect for uh, what we're doing too. I cut tails and ears out of manila paper and I use all any sort of thing to make the um, the mouse body. This is a shopping bag, this is felt, this is a grocery bag. I have some googly eyes. You don't need googly eyes. You can make eyes out of just cutting a little white circle out of a paper and taking a sharpie and making a dot in it. I actually think that's a better way to make eyes because you can have expressions that way. I have scissors, I have glue sticks, and I have Elmer's. This is optional, but it's better for the bigger pieces that aren't flat and paper-like. You'll need more, uh, um, more of a liquidy glue to get those to stick. So here we go. So all you do is you take some of your rock shapes. I just cut out kind of like a bulbous shape and I'm gonna arrange them anyway, like on the paper. Then you can decide what you wanna do next. I'm gonna make the mouse next. So I'm gonna take that mouse. I'm gonna take a couple of ears. I'm gonna put it there. I'm gonna grab a googly eye, because I can't find the other eye made right now. And I'm gonna give him a tail. And I'm gonna make another mouse so he can have a buddy. Same thing. Pick out some ears on either side. And a tail. And there's my homemade eye. Yeah. Okay. This guy's a little, it's a little mad. Okay. <laughs> then whatever else you want to do next. I think I'm gonna throw some of this green grass behind the rock. This would all be glued down. I'm not gluing it down now because it would take too much time. But uh, when you do it, you just glue it down with the glue stick. And now I'm gonna take some of the oatmeal and just spread it around. So these are the seeds they've gathered. I would glue those on. I'm gonna take some pencil sharpened shavings and make a little dirt floor here. I'll put a little dirt on a rock. Um, I'm gonna do some nuts. They were gathering nuts and you can make a nut, make it more, look more like a nut by just putting some dots on it. Um, let's see what else. I think I might have, I might have gotten it all here. Oh wait, last thing is the things that I found outside, and this makes it look even more natural. And you would just glue these. They're so light that you could really actually use a glue stick, but maybe you want Elmer's for these guys. So it would look something like like that. And um, I made one the other day, and it's all glued down, so. I used the corrugated cardboard on this one and I put a butterfly on it. And uh, these two are completely different, but um, I used the same sort of shapes and materials. So that's it. Have a good time. It's fun collecting materials and it's fun making the project. Bye.